Hi, my name is Frank and this is TVL. Welcome. Have you ever wondered what could be wrong with your singing? You seem to be doing every other thing correctly, but there's this one thing that makes your singing come out not really the way you want it. S sort of like a bit horrible, but you can't really place your hand on what it is. Most of the most of the times, I bet you it is with our pitch. The problem is with our pitch. So I'm going to talk today about off pitch and I'm going to show you a way to begin to work on it. Now, for the sake of others, you may know what off pitch is. But maybe for the sake of others um, who may not know what it is, I'll explain a bit. And I did a video. Go back. Listen to it. I explain more. OK, so off pitch means off the pitch, pitch or notes, okay? So you didn't quite hit the notes, you didn't quite hit the pitch. So it's slightly above the pitch, which is sharp, or slightly below the pitch, which is flat. And it's not found anywhere in musical scale, okay? It's not this, it's not the very next one, it's not the next one, it's not this, it's not, it's not any of these. In other words, in other words, it's hanging somewhere between a correct pitch and a, another correct pitch. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you an example practically, okay? I'm gonna sing this line, God is able to do, all right, correctly, and then I'll sing it pitchy. So correctly, it will sound like this. God is able to do, again. God is able to do. Now, pitchy, sharp and flat, it will sound like this. God is able to do. Did you notice a difference? Okay, so that's an example of a song that sounds pitchy. The last one I did. Okay, so now I made a video before and I introduced you to this app, ClearTune, that I use to work on my students' pitch, even mine as well. Okay, so now as you can see, it's jumping around because there's too many notes coming at it. But when I try to hear the notes, oh, uh, yeah, you know, I try to hit E flat. Uh, so it's there, right? It's there. So if I try to hit it again and go sharp, let's see what it will look like, what it would do. So it's between E flat and E. Now let's see what um, flat will look like. Uh, so it's between E flat and D. So I'm not really hitting the notes correctly. Let's do it again. Correctly this time. Uh, So that time it was put on. I'm not going to talk so much about this. But today I'm going to show you another method that you can use to um, work on your pitch and is with the use of what we call sine waves. A sine wave is the most basic form of a sound. Okay, so I like using a flute sound called recorder. So what, we, what I'm going to try to do is match the tone or the sound I make with the uh, flute or the recorder, okay? So if it's the same pitch, everything should be straight. It won't be wobbly, okay? But if it's not the same pitch, you begin to hear a wobbling sound. Like woo, 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 woo. And the further apart it goes from the note, let's say this is the correct note and this is the note you're making with your mouth. If you go below it, it will start, it will start wobbling. Woo, 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 woo. And the further apart you go, the faster it will wobble. Woo, 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 and so on and so forth. The same goes, you know, if you if you uh, go above the note. Okay, so let's listen. Yeah, got it. So let's match this note. So I'm able to slide up and down until I get the correct note. Do you hear it? So it's correct. Straightened out. Now let's try to swerve away from it. Let's go below. Do 
Did you hear it? Let's write another note. So it's straight, right? So when it begins to go peachy, you hear that wobbling sound. Listen very carefully. That's how much we can take right now. Begin to work on your pitches using uh, um, um, the device I showed to you, the app I showed to you, ClearTune, or um, using um, a sine wave, okay? And just watch your pitch get better and better. Now, join me next time. Some more awesome videos coming. Don't forget to subscribe and like and also share. Thank you. Bye-bye.